what's going on you guys welcome back to another incredible video by real fx in this video i'm going to be teaching you about quasimodo reversals and sweep of liquidity now if that sounds like something that you're interested in stick around till the end of the video and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't subscribed Now, before we continue, guys, I want to give you some good news. Since RealFX has been getting many requests about mentorship services, we have decided to create mentorship programs. So for now, this is what we offer at RealFX. We offer two kinds of mentorship programs. We offer the gold mentorship, which comes with the market breaker beginner strategy. And in this package, you'll get a step-by-step -step guide throughout the mentorship. You'll get a weekly market breakdown and on the platinum mentorship you will get the real fx dynamite strategy which will be taught in a very simple step-by-step -step guide it also features a weekly market breakdown and a trading plan that anyone can follow and in all these packages you get a trading psychology lessons and our mentors will always be ready to answer your questions and all these mentorship packages are valid in a period of three months so this is it guys join the mentorship and in three months you'll be the trading beast that you want to be now if you're interested in the mentorship i will leave a link in description and you can click on it and it will take you to our admin and she will take it from there okay now let's talk about liquidity sweep before we talk about the reverse qml now liquidity sweep is when the market takes out a high or a low that was supposed to hold that many people are expecting to hold so if for example we are having this kind of a structure over here which is buying uh structures you can see it's higher highs and higher lows now let's say we have something like this the market pushes to the upside where do people expect the market to retrace from now the people are expecting the market to respect this low over here they're expecting the market to, re to respect this low and then they are also expecting the market to retrace and then push into an area around here and then push to the upside well that is just the basic way of looking at things but in reality the market will push like that and then when it retraces it takes out this low over here to the downside and it pushes to the upside like that so this is a sign that the market has swept liquidity on a low that many people expected it to hold and because many people were expecting this low to hold there are many others that are being filled right around this area so the market takes out those orders to generate liquidity and then it pushes to the upside the other kind of liquidity sweep is in the form of equal highs or equal lows now for example let's say the market is pushing to the upside like this and then it does something like this and then it comes here it pushes to the upside again as you can see here we are having two equal lows so many people are expecting the market to bounce from this area and then start pushing to the upside however in reality the market takes out these two uh equal lows and then it does something like this it goes to the downside it doesn't go below this low over here but it goes to an area within this low and this equal highs and then here what are people thinking people are thinking that okay this is a change of character so the market is going to uh, make people lose money in two ways so the first people who lost money are the ones who thought that the market were going to buy here so it took them out to generate liquidity and the second kind of people are going to lose are the ones who thought that this over here is now a change of character now they're looking for the market to retrace into this area and then start pushing to the downside however this is what ends up happening the market starts buying to this side and then pushing to the upside so the market swept liquidity over here and then after sweeping liquidity the market pushed to the upside and the same thing applies to a downward trend we expect exactly the same thing just the opposite the market will be in a downward trend like this and then it will create this kind of a movement and then it will take it out it will induce people to believe that okay the market has changed its sentiment however it continues to push to the downside so as you can see here uh, people lost two times 
if you are trading just basic smc you lost two times you lost when you thought that uh the market was going to retrace from this area going to the downside you had your selling position here that and this is when you lost and then you are going to also lose because after this you thought okay this was a change of character this over here you label this as your change of character over here and then after labeling that as your change of character it simply means you're going to be looking for your entry right around this area here so this is where you're going to lose again in the market because now the market is going to take that one out so this is a way to show that the market has induced what it has induced liquidity remember the market needs liquidity in order for it to move so without liquidity the market cannot move so the same thing applies when we talk about equal highs but or equal highs or equal lows but in a downward trend the market can give us uh, a push a reversal a push and then it comes it creates some sort of uh equal highs over here and then pushes to the downside so what are people thinking here that okay we have two equal highs and then we can see that the market the momentum is starting to be to the downside because of those two equal lows that is going to form however the market takes out those equal highs now it simply means it took those people who thought that okay the best option was to sell from this option that's the first part now the second part it's going to take out the people who believe that now we have some sort of a change of character because this uh, high over here failed to hold and then they're gonna be looking to be buying from this area going up so the same thing applies you lose two times and then what happens is the market pushes to the downside so th this is uh, uh the sweep of liquidity in a downward trend now we are going to be looking at a reverse qml okay guys now let's quickly look at a reverse qml i'm gonna throw a simple example here as, as you can see the market is pushing to the upside like this and then we also have uh, something like this and then the market comes out it does what we talked about and then it pushes to the upside now here we have what we have our reverse qml so this over here is going to be our qml we're going to be focusing on this area to push the market to the upside now another scenario that could take place is that the market could also do something like this a push and then an upside now after this we have this low that uh, many people are expecting it to hold we run out this low and then we fight the next uh, order block the next significant order block and then we take that order block to the upside so this is how we are going to be entering into our trades so we're going to be focusing on we're going to be focusing uh, on the reverse qml as our significant point or as our primary a significant point and we're also going to uh, focus on the order block that comes after an inducement or a run of liquidity as the secondary uh, point of interest so that's how we are going to be uh, entering into our market and the same thing is going to apply in a downward trend if we ever get a downward trend the market will do something like this and then it takes out the liquidity and then pushes to the downside where do we want to see ourselves buying this market we want to see ourselves selling this market right around this area here where this liquidity was swept and then the other part we want to see ourselves uh selling this market if ever this is taken out that's the first part and there is a significant order block that is around this area and remember the characteristics of a significant order block especially for it to stand as a primary point of interest is that there should be some sort of imbalance and the order block should be unmitigated so that's how we're going to be doing it uh that's how we're going to be using this model of a liquidity sweep and also forming a confluence with a QMR or a reverse quasi model. Okay, guys, now let's apply what I just taught you right now into a chart over here. This is a chart. So this is a trade that we did trade. As you can see, uh, I did make a video about the trade on it, it's there on our tiktok it's there on our instagram i think we made some a reel of, of the trade so 
let's talk about what made us to take the trade what motivated us to look into the trade as you can see these things are very simple guys you don't have to complicate these things as you can see we're in a downward trend okay and then here what did we have we had a breakout of structure to the upside and then we had a breakout of structure and then what did we see we saw this push and then this push over here and you can see that with this push there was no liquidity there was no liquidity that we could have used to say okay now the market is ready to push to the upside okay so this over here we will be it will be taken as inducement so it will be taken as that low that many people expect it to hold but then it fails so because it failed we now look okay where is our second our primary point our primary point is our qml where is our qml in this case as you can see it's this long week over here this is our qml so you can enter aggressively into this trade that's the first option you could just take a buy here and then you have the high as your target always you know that the high is your target and your stop loss just to be safe few pips below your your uh your qmr your quasi model so the second kind of setup would be to wait for a break uh, a, a, a change of character a minor change of character to the upside and then a reversal and then you are into the trade so as you can see here we had this uh some sort of a we had this sort of a of a breakout of structure here to the upside which can be taken as a change of character and then we have a reversal where is our qml after that this level over here this is where we're looking to be buying so we buy from there we still have that as our target so this can either be your first entry if you only trade confirmations or it can be your second entry just to you know uh to stack up on your position because you are now confident because we took out liquidity and then we tapped into a qml and then we saw a push from that qml taking out this what can be considered as a risk a, a minor low or a minor high over here and then we enter into the trade so the trade pushes on and then it takes out this it reaches our target so after reaching our target what do we expect we see the same thing again a retracement a push okay so we are seeing a retracement a push so this over here this is our inducement and then we said we are looking for what we're looking for the nearest order block so where is the nearest order block this is the nearest order block over here look what happened the market tapped into it and then it didn't look back it's about to hit our take profit it ha it hasn't hit our take profit yet but come on at this stage here you should be trading a risk-free trade so at this point here you should be at break even or even if you're not at break even you can keep something just to cover up for your next trade for example if you are in this kind of a trade let's say you, you entered here and then it's where it is right now so uh your stop loss would be here but at this point you can even push your uh stop loss to be around this area because you want to leave something so that you can risk in the next trade for example let's say this pushes to the upside obviously we are looking for the market to come back into this order block here that's if things go uh, as we we would expect so if that happens we want to be risking whatever it is that we are going to make in this trade so for me in this trade already i would wanna save something that i can use for the next trade so that i know that i can relax and be confident in the next trade because i will not be risking any of my capital it will be just it will just be money that i got from the market so this is um the end of the video guys so go and try uh, applying this on the kind of pair that you trade so this also works in indices it works in uh volatilities it also works on nasdaq all these kind of things that people are trading it works on all of them so all you have to do is to just back test this thing and then uh check if it works for you and again the mentorship is on join the mentorship if you are interested if you want to learn more because this is not the only model that we are trading so if you want to learn more if you want to a trade the way we trade if you enjoy our style of trading just uh join the mentorship and everything will be taken care of after that